It is a huge loss for our community and an unexpected one, as you can well imagine. Um, San Pedro is definitely mourning today. It's kind of hard to put into words exactly what he meant, especially to our organization. Um, he he was our organization, I guess. I, I, there really wasn't a member that meant more. He, uh, as I was just telling our members, he, he, he was our fuel, he was our ignition, he was, he was literally everything to this group. The murder of 43-year-old Felix Ayuso has rocked the close-knit San Pedro community. The business owner and activist of San Pedro town was found stabbed to death in his bed upstairs of his home here in the San Juan area. Sometime around 6 on Thursday evening, Ayuso's sister made a call at this wooden home where Ayuso lived alone in the upper flat. She discovered that the door was unlocked and walked into what neighbors say looked like a bloody crime scene straight out of a horror film. Ayuso was stabbed as many as 37 times, primarily in his face and upper body area, including his eyes. There was a cut to his throat, ears, and across his nose. The last time anyone heard from Ayuso was sometime on Wednesday night. Neighbors say they believed he was killed between that night and early Thursday morning, but his body wasn't discovered until later that day. Ayuso's close friend, Melanie Paz, is still reeling from the news of his killing. Um, I was sitting at my table and a friend of mine was there and he got the call and, and it was totally devastating. I mean, within minutes there was like a huge crowd out here because everybody knew him and everybody loved him and we can't imagine who could possibly do this to, to Felix. He was a given person loving and to our knowledge he didn't have enemies in that aspect. Honestly, everybody that knows him, we've been contemplating this since last night. Who would want to do something so horrible to him? Are we, there's no way, I mean, there's no way that we could figure out anybody that would have hated him that much to do him something like this. And that is why we are so in disbelief about the cruelty of it and, you know, he did not, nobody deserves it, but especially somebody like him, he did not deserve that. Do you believe as his close friend that it's someone very close to him who probably did this to him? It is definitely my belief that it was somebody he knew and that knew him for sure, but who, we don't know. According to reports from neighbors, there was a disturbance at Ayusa's apartment on Wednesday night. A neighbor overheard a fight but didn't think anything of it because there were regular altercation at the apartment. They say that a young man who had visited Ayuso several times before was the last one to be seen going into the upper flat right before the fight started. San Pedro police have detained two men. They have not recovered a weapon from the scene, but they are looking at all angles. But evidence points to Ayuso's murder as a crime of passion. Whenever it's a stabbing incident, it leans more towards a crime of passion. So we have um, several angles that we're looking at. But we believe that it was a sharp object. I do not want to be specific because um, you have various objects that you can sharpen and use as a weapon. No? Whenever a murder occurs and um, the police finds out about it hours later, it leaves us at a disadvantage to begin with because the perpetrator of that crime had ample time to, to leave the um, island, come to mainland, and then... Um, we would have to have that suspect in custody to really question that person and see what was um, his motive. And while it is business as usual in the country's tourism hub, many across the island are mourning. The news of Ayusa's murder spread like wildfire. He was known to just about everyone in the town. He was a pioneer for many causes and an activist, including the San Pedro AIDS Commission a creative talent who's described as a driving force behind San Pedro's annual carnival. A businessman, he owned this salon on the island, and he was also a father of two. But, most of all, he was full of life and love, according to his closest friends. The impact of Ayuso's contributions to San Pedro town are immeasurable. Felix um, has always been an activist in the community. He's, he was a member of the San Pedro Lions Club for many years, um, and he actually started the AIDS, San Pedro AIDS Commission, which really didn't have anything to do with the National AIDS Commission out here many, many years ago. He got people like myself involved in it to try to raise funds for people that were HIV positive on the island. We're going to stay on top of the issue, absolutely. We're going to press and press and make sure that, uh, that justice is, is done and is served correctly. Um, but more importantly, that this group is going to focus on 
is what we've always focused on. That's the betterment of this community, helping uh, those inflicted by HIV um, and active AIDS, uh, something that Felix was beyond passionate about. And the support that he alone had on this island is uh, second to nothing. He used to participate even before the AIDS Commission, but especially since he started the um, San Pedro AIDS Commission as part of Carnival every single year. And he won pretty much every single year his group did. I mean, he wrote the songs to address whatever issues we were having in the country or on the island. And in fact, he, the day before his untimely passing, he was writing the songs and they found them on his computer at his job. So it's a huge loss for us. It hadn't sunk in for me, hadn't sunk in for most people that I know in this group. Um, it's going to take some time before it becomes a real fact in our mind, you know. No, from what I understand, he also was good in, in rallying um, the members of the HIV Commission, uh, the HIV AIDS Commission, to get involved in Carnival, which is coming up in three weeks. I mean, how you know, much will that presence be missed? More than can actually be tallied, I think. He, he like I said, he, he was our driving force for the entire commission, and, and Carnival was our our big year celebration. That was that was the one thing we always always went out all out for, and he, he made sure of that. And we had plans this year that we're going to top every other year. Um, and I will say that so far, I, I don't want to say that it's going to continue, but so far our entire group is saying this has to be done. We've got to go continue this tradition this year especially and go all out for Felix. And so as of right now, as they stand, this is a, we're, we're going to go move forward with this year's celebrations in his honor, absolutely. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.